So basically, it all started in August 2023, everything was normal, until a rumor emerged that Joshua is dating model Mi Young, there was never a clear evidence or any solid proof of their relationship, and everything you have heard or will hear is what fans guessed, people just matched some dots and turned a baseless rumor into a huge issue. There's only one thing that supported the rumor this whole time, and that was Pletus's silence, but now even Pletus have spoken up and have decided to take action. It's been four to five months since this mess started, but Pletus's silence was questionable. I wonder why Pletus took four months to take such necessary step, it could be because of two reasons, first, either Pletus or Joshua himself didn't feel like it was a very big issue to react to, and had decided to just ignore it, or second, maybe they thought addressing it, might turn it into a bigger issue, and expected that the rumor will eventually die. Now let's start from the day when it all started, in August 2023, some fans noticed unusual similarities between Joshua and Mi Young, the similarities included, their pictures being taken at the same place, around the same time frame, with same vibe, and by vibe, it means that it almost looked like they clicked each other's pictures. They were seen sharing pictures with the same items, and people termed it as a couple items. Phone cases, jackets, accessories, bags, and many more things were noticed as they said it was a large collection. Additionally, many fans claimed that Mi Young and her friends were also invited to 17's concert. She was in the very front row of the invitee-only area of the stadium along with the other members' families. When Joshua was going past her at the end of the concert, it almost looked as if he was waving to her, but still, it is possible that it was because of the angle of the camera. Later on she deleted her photos, that were posted on the day of 17's concert, she was also seen with Joshua's mother on a vacation, but I don't want to get into the details or show the pictures here because this is a really private matter and I don't want to invade their privacy, plus we don't know, if it's really them or not. Many fans started to believe that the rumors were true, but some still asked each other to refrain from using negative words for Joshua or Mi Young, however, neither Mi Young nor Pletus confirmed or denied the speculations. After this whole thing came out, people were divided into three categories, first, people who found it funny and refused to believe it, second, people who said that they are gonna support Joshua if it's true because idols are humans and they do have the right to date like everyone, the third category was of furious fans, who think idols are their puppets and they can't have their private life, they didn't care if the rumor was true or not, they just bombarded Joshua's Instagram with hate comments and negativity, even though True Carrots kept defending the idol in every possible way but some people had already decided to go against the idol no matter what. The unjustified hate wasn't limited to the social media, some Chinese fans took things very far and sent Porsches and moving trucks to Hybe's building as protest, three Porsches and a protest truck were even sent to the SM Entertainment's building, with the aim of shaming Joshua in front of other artists and companies. The Porsches were rented out as part of the protest as it was speculated that Joshua purchased a Porsche for his girlfriend. Even if it's true, it's his hard-earned money, only he has the right to decide whether he wants throw all his money in the river or buy someone a car. If these people had worried this much about their own life, I bet they wouldn't have become such pathetic humans. A truck was also sent to the bustling Hongdae district. What's even more disgusting is that the trucks had loud music that called out Joshua to return fans their money in three different languages. One truck called him out for alleged lip-syncing. It was saying, Joshua lost his initial drive in passion, he cheated fans by lip syncing, go live for two days in the basement from your pre debut days, from the people that bought 2.5 million albums. Other trucks called out his various mistakes on stage, calling for him to be sent out of the group, the trucks also had messages for Joshua written on them, and Joshua's name was written in red, and in Korea, writing someone's name in red means death. Before moving forward, I want to say that if this wasn't enough for Hybe or Pletus to take action, I don't know what is, Hybe has now introduced new policies to protect its artists and to handle malicious comments, but this matter wasn't handled the way it needed to be. Anyway, the first track had a message written on it saying, the lovely Hybe staff are suffering because of Joshua who has no conscience, he tricked fans, and is so insincere about performing, he's lost the right to become an idol, from the woman who bought 2.5 million albums. Some people also demanded that Joshua should be kicked out of the group. Disgusting, how people used a baseless rumor to attack his talent and career. 
After the Porsches and trucks, a wedding car decorated with balloons was spotted parading around the building of Hybe, the car was spotted around Korea's major broadcasting stations KBS, SBS, and NBC, the car had the banner saying, Joshua, fans who believed in you were the real victims, was it fun to mess with them, if you continue to shut your mouth, you don't have any heart. Let's suppose, for a second that the rumor is true, I don't get it how fans are the victims when it's Joshua's life, who gave fans the right to control idols' personal activities and interests. I think just because idols try to stay friendly with fans, some people really think that idols are their boyfriends, things cooled down a little bit and there were no more protests against him, but the matter didn't completely end here like the usual dating rumors. Things were going back to normal until, Mi Young uploaded an Instagram story, sparking pregnancy rumors. It began from a pregnancy badge that was allegedly seen in the Instagram story, a pregnancy badge is given to expecting mothers so that people in public would be careful around them, Mi Young's story went viral, with many fans reacting to the story by leaving hateful, malicious comments on her Instagram, but several fans stepped up to reveal that the badge and the car in the video belonged to a friend of hers. In a previous Instagram story, she revealed she was gifted Tums and Korean netizens claimed that Tums was mainly taken by pregnant women. She could have denied it right there if she wanted to, but she never said anything and like that the whole thing went back to one. But there's another side of the story that you might not know, maybe people weren't making false assumptions by themselves, they were talking what they were seeing. So apparently, there's a rumor that it was all planted from the get-go, all the similarities that were the base of the rumors were all made up, all those similar clothes, locations, and items, everything was planted, nothing has been confirmed yet, but many believe that Mi Young has been signed under a Chinese company just to defame Joshua and create rumors. Remember in the first part of the video where I showed you some pictures from 17's concert where it seemed like Joshua was waving at Mi Young, it has been said by unknown sources that those pictures were clicked by her agency. But at this point, I want to ask you guys to wait until it gets confirmed, I know many would say that there's nothing left to be confirmed and it is very clear, but still it is better to wait rather than accusing someone because if we do so, we will be no different than the people who added fuel to the fire of Joshua's rumors. Ever since this news came out, Carrot's got no chill and have bombarded her Instagram with anger, because if it is really true, then it's insane how Joshua silently suffered for months and everyone was basically blaming the fans for all the mess, not knowing that the source of the rumor was someone else. As Pletus has announced to reinforce their artist protection policy, people under her posts are telling her that she would get sued now and have to face serious consequences, but there is still no statement from her side. Someone commented, your lies are finally starting to catch up with you, Chinese team can't help you this time. Another person wrote, for anyone who doesn't know, she is signed to a Chinese agency, she and the agency spread rumors of her dating Joshua, for noise marketing this was all planned by her and her company. Another thing that has been talked about much is Joshua's Instagram, in December, Joshua deleted or archived so many posts from his Insta including, all those pictures that were used to make rumors of his and Mi Young's similar pictures, just because he once had a rumor, people will always try to connect his every action to it, this isn't the first time, a 17 member has deleted or archived his pictures, Vernon and Sung Kwan also did the same, and even if Joshua did it because of the rumors, we need to take it as a silent message that he had enough of this and now he wants people to stop. It is just his personal choice and you gotta respect him if you really love him, either he is dating or not, it's his life, his choice, and his decisions, we are just fans, and we have to respect idols' decisions, if they are not morally wrong. Pletus released a notice and stated, Our company regularly initiates legal proceedings against preparators of malicious activities, including defamation, personal attacks, sexual harassment, the spread of groundless information and ill-intentioned criticism. Even in the cases where posts are created and deleted, we have collected evidence, in addition we have filed several criminal complaints to law enforcement agencies based on evidence submitted by the fans, posts that spread false information or distort facts to defame and mock the artist, posts that leak the artist's personal information causing harm, have been included in the complaints. Furthermore, there are many cases where the identities have been confirmed by legal investigation. We are taking strict legal action to address malicious postings across all channels, 
our policy of no settlement and no leniency under any circumstances during the legal proceedings against such an invasion remains in effect. Not only Pletus, but also Hybe has announced that it will deal with such stuff strictly, so overall it was a good step, and now people will think twice before posting hateful comments. But do you know what's more concerning? In the first part of the video, I showed you some stuff as evidence and told you that fans collected all of this and are still looking for clues, most of you who weren't aware of the second side of the story must have believed that it is all fans' fault and Joshua and Young are in a relationship and are just hiding it from fans. Do you get it, now how easy it is to fool people on internet, just one video with some made-up logic and that's it. So please do some research or try to know the origin in detail of any rumor before believing or spreading it. Whether Source was me young or the fans, the whole truck protest thing isn't acceptable at any cost, let's suppose that someday, Joshua or any other idol announces that he's actually dating someone, we should support their decision because at the end all that matters is happiness, so live and let live.